Deep beneath the icy waters of the North Pacific, a fascinating drama unfolds, an epic tale of survival, strategy, and community. But this isn't your ordinary sea story. We're diving into the surprising social lives of some of the ocean's most majestic creatures, the king crabs. Ever wondered how these crustacean monarchs work together to conquer challenges in their underwater kingdom? Get ready to be amazed as we uncover the secrets of their incredible unseen world. Welcome to Savannah Pulse, where the wild comes alive. King crabs were not originally found on the European coast. They were introduced here and appeared in the north of Norway towards the end of the 1970s. How far will the giant crabs expand their territory? Should we be worried Scientists are continuously discovering the resources and adaptability of this crustacean invader is evolutionally very successful. High biological productivity and many rare species define the Baird Sea Arctic ecosystem. It is highly rich, but also extremely fragile and not strong enough to withstand a predator as strong as the giant crab. Hence, the seabed is being depleted and the balance of the species is changing. Bugnes Port has 200 residents. 500 kilometers north of the Arctic Circle depends on its cod and salmon trade. Devours all prey that comes within its reach. One of the first villages in Norway where the king crabs appeared caused a commotion. Public was curious as well as scared the fishermen who caught the king crab. Water six me from Moran's in the Kola Gulf where it opens out into the desolate sea. The king crabs multiplied rapidly by the end of the 1970s. They had colonized the Russian waters and moved into Norway. They followed the northern coast of Scandinavia and descended towards the south. In 2009, a king crab was caught in Bergen. The king crabs should have been deterred by the warmer whirs as they headed southwards. Their eating establishes the density of their colony. Biologists examined to ascertain whether the predator was a crab rather than a seal or a seabird. In some areas, the seabed is covered with shell remains. The wildlife that is usually present here has disappeared. The crabs roam the almost deserted seabed in search of any remaining prey. It is most likely responsible for. Lee's fears have been realized over the past 10 years. The crabs have come to Paranga a fur that travels more than 60 million land and have settled almost everywhere. The next step is to evaluate the impact of the king crab on marine life. Their claws are long and agile. Their function is not just mechanical, they are extremely sophisticated and enable the crabs to locate their prey under its prickly shell. King crab hides a network of highly sensitive sensors along its legs. They send a stream of information to the brain. Touch sensitive hair is located on the ends of its claws and can detect shells when buried in the sand. It captures and manipulates its victims with menacing skill. Small agile fingers on the side of its mouth are covered with tactile hairs 
that determine the taste and suitability. Now I am curious what has happened during the night, so I see that it seems as everyone has been eating at least one sea oin and extrapolating this to the nature earth. We will see that for each king, crap per day, they will eat. Remove a prey or two prey. So that will make a difference if the population of King CRA becomes big enough by eliminating certain prey, such as the starfish, and by sparing the larger prey, such as the bee valves. The king crabs have created an imbalance in the ecosystem and consequently have. Urchin, it cracks the shell open in a few seconds. The she shell gives the crab the calcium it needs to strengthen its own shell. The sudden arrival of this insatiable predator in the hitherto unspoiled fjords has endangered the entire food chain. It is essential that the scientists discover more about the king crab and the way in which it is colonizing the coasts and the F.S. Yun Sundad. A biologist at the Institute of Marine Research in Norway is studying their movement. We attach this to single crab and release the crab in an area. Unlike most other crabs that move laterally, the king crab can walk forward rapidly and can travel up to six mil per. Moving the king crab is always on the move. It is constantly exploring newer areas. It surmounts obstacles with ease. The temperature of the water is perfect for the king crab. Some of them settle permanently in the fjords. Their sedentary presence leaves little chance for marine life to regenerate. The king crabs are aware of hidden resources. Day by tracking grabs that have been equipped with tags, scientists discovered they could move into the deeper fjords, some more than 200 fathoms deep. This is surprising given the seabed is empty at such depths, at least in appearance. There is abundance of wildlife in the mud produced by the decomposition of surface organisms. In the deepest basin, we also have cement or sand. And inside that, we have a lot of worms, bells, and tiny castarian. So they also have a much higher uh, regeneration time or productivity than if we compare this biomass with the sea stars and sea gurus. Find tiny organisms inhabit the sedimentary sludge that the king crabs like to consume them. Since the creatures are small, the crabs need to excavate large areas to consume large amounts. If they vanish, the seabed will become sterile and the whole food chain will be weakened. The biologists fear that crabs will reach particularly sensitive areas that are home to rare marine organisms and relics of the last ice age, Jan Sundad and his colleagues from the University of Tursa are on an observation ship. The food chain worms and other tiny organisms play an important role in the recycling of organic matter and oxygen. Empty shells. They have shed their external skeletons that have become too small for them during a period of development. A steroid hormone secretions causes the obsolete shell to break open. The new shell is still soft. This means that the crabs are extremely vulnerable. And this is perhaps the reason they shed their shells in groups and form a colony fully grown. King crabs molt less frequently. If the wolfish attacks the crab, it can rely on its natural armor. The crab shell withstands its opponent's teeth. Even if it loses a leg or two, the wounded is immediately covered with a protective membrane that prevents it from bleeding a stub. Kui quickly forms. It will then develop into a new leg. Many of the king crabs are lame. The life expectancy of the king crab is 20 to 30 years. Hence, biologists examine the proportion of large males and females of reproductive age in order to forecast the growth of a colony. Nevertheless, they still survive and exhibit amazing resilience. 
This remarkable resistance is also combined with a great capacity for reproduction. Spring is a vital state stage in the life cycle of a king crab female. She releases pheromones that draw males who then react to her mating call. The male grabs the female and carries her for two weeks. Neither of them eat until the female is ready for fertilization. Springtime is the larvae take advantage of plankton bloom to feed and start their growth. They move slowly and have to hide from the countless predators that are present. As with other crab species, they store their eggs inside their shells. The king crab appears to be an unbeatable conqueror. Only one species seems able to overcome this creature that is taking over the Norwegian waters, humans, in many Finnmark villages. Ready to pounce on them, the surviving larvae begin a series of transformations before they reach their final form. Unlike in Kamchatka and Alaska in the 20th century, they have simply adapted their equipment for king crab fishing and work on small boats that are less than 15 meters long and enable them to fish at sea or in the Norwegian fishermen have started crab fishing. Chrome and 60% of those was created in small villages like Buas with 200 people, more or less. So King Bee is a blessing to small places that have not so many options regarding creating works, working places and industry. From what I know, the Ministry of Fisheries has imposed fishing limits. They do not want to exhaust this new resource and have imposed quotas to preserve the stock in a way the fishermen have become allies to the crab invaders. Ifs, the first, the time we fishing are in the wires in the 93, 1993, then we begin. And, um, and we were four boat in 1993, and now we are 500. In Norway, we have actually said that we want to keep it in a certain geographical area outside this area. So it's actually two different management goals, which are actually contradictory. Regulations require Norwegian fishermen to put females back in the water if they are carrying eggs. In the end, public opinion in Norway is around the world people are fishing on species, the mainly the management. Um, goals of an Inu spe are that to get rid of it as soon as possible. The Norwegian fishermen are extending the idea the Russians had of using nature for their own economic gain. They are not the only ones in the North Pacific, in the region where the king crab originates. They are working to constitute the divided biodiversity experts want to eradicate the crabs while fishermen want to keep them in the area. The crab population here in Alaska has drastically declined since the 80s, when it became a victim of overfishing laboratories in the AC crab program. Scientists ensure that they would be culturing the young to increase natural survival of the larvae to overcome some of these population bottlenecks at the early life history stages. And so sort of man interfering and improving Ming, that population bottleneck um, is sort of a strategy to try to get some of these depressed populations to increase in numbers before releasing the crab's breed in captivity revealed. The king, crab, prefers cool waters. Scientists are hoping to anticipate its future distribution by researching its capacity to withstand higher temperatures out of the Arctic seas or due to global warming, the crabs, as all other kind of species. Animals, they are optimizing their behavior depending on the environmental conditions in this area. So maybe the future king crab in this year will actually be able to tolerate higher temperatures than and we have seen in the Bing Sea. We have done some study on the La, and we have got some shockingly results showing that the La are able to survive much higher temperature than we expected. Regarding the studies that has been carried out in the Bering Sea, maybe temperature up to 18 to 20 degrees, and which is much, much higher 
than the temperatures here in early June already exceed 13 degrees water temperature, which is the maximum um, king crab species, or at least some of them. We expected Yuri Orof, the man who brought the king crabs to the North Atlantic, to be convinced that they would be transported either by fishermen or as larvae. Traveling in ship ballasts would colonize the coast right up to Gibraltar. This would mean that they could travel through the warmest waters in Europe like here in the English Channel, this could not be possible. Its cardiac rhythm indicates its resistance. The increasing pressure simulates a descent into an abyss. 30, external change, half frequency. 35, 85. Yes, I think we are passing a threshold slowly. At 120, which is equivalent of 1,000 200 bounds water depth, it's pretty significant, increasing to 125 bar. So that's 125 bar 1250 m water depth. This would not enable it to cross the deep ocean abyss. Rather, it would move along ocean ridges U, which are often considered to be highways um, through the deep sea or the outer continental margins. Survive any more pressure? Really, we should stop now since the respiration rate is going down okay and we reduce pressure very active. This would probably help. No damages here. And that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the extraordinary lives of king crabs. If you enjoyed diving into their world with us, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Savannah Pulse for more incredible wildlife stories. Your support helps us keep exploring and sharing the wonders of nature. Got a favorite sea creature or a topic you'd like us to cover? Drop a comment below, we'd love to hear from you. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.